six days until we move in together and we are at some local outlets about to make our first home purchase. I really wanted an oven to be able to cook in and this is the cheapest price by far of any oven we've ever found and the space looks pretty good inside. Super excited to make this purchase. First home purchase. Ikea, Ikea, gonna find our future furniture. Ikea, Ikea, five days until we live together. Yay! It's one all and it's four days till we live together. It is two days until we move in together and it is our last night in Andy's apartment. It is our last night in my apartment now and one day until we move in together. Less than 12 hours now. And Andy found a way to get Legend of Zelda Wind Waker on his computer. So that was my favorite game of childhood and I'm so hyped for this and I love you so much. Thank you. I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow. We're moving in together. Ah! Today's the day. Oh. Goodness. The moving company will be here in about an hour. We're just getting ready. Ah, I'm so excited. If you saw my room tour, I mentioned how I would love to sit up in the window and watch Andy walk away. And he would always turn around and wave at me. I don't think he'll do that now because he's just going to the local GS to get us some breakfast before the movers get here. But my last time watching him walk away from this little window. I'm so full of love. I love him so much. I can't wait for this. I'm like about to cry. <laughs> They're here 15 minutes early. I've moved a lot in my college days, like almost every other semester. My job was always holding the plants, but I'm taking a taxi by myself with these other things. So Andy is going to be in charge of holding my plants. I pass the torch on to you, sir. We, well they, are leaving, head him to Andy's. <laughs> Round two, let's go. A beautiful sunny day to move into a beautiful new home and start a beautiful new little life together. The moving company provides these big boxes. They're reusable, like we don't keep these, they're the company's boxes. And they will pack for you, actually, even your clothes. They even, here it is, they have a cooler to pack your fridge stuff to. So Andy was traveling in the truck with the movers. I came separately in a taxi, I'm here, but just realized I don't know the door code. So waiting for him to show up, but he says his mom is already here, like cleaning up in the apartment. I don't know how she knew the door code, maybe someone just let her in. But um, I don't know how much I'll film later, you guys will see, but very excited. And we are supposed to be getting dinner with Andy's sister's boyfriend tonight. And yeah, just waiting for Andy. Oh, he just texted me the door code, super cool. All right, catch you guys later. everyone it's Sunday now and if you follow my Instagram and saw my Instagram story you saw what happened last night <laughs> so we um, Andy's mom and sister were helping and I didn't film much yesterday at all after we got here because we were like cleaning and unpacking and we went out for lunch and then we went to the outlets and then we went out to dinner and it was a whole thing but it was a really nice dinner and a really nice night and then when we got home, it was like 10 o'clock at night, and Andy and I were like, oh, we're finally alone, our new home, oh, first night in our new home. And I didn't realize, but I was leaning in the door frame to take my shoes off, and my fingers were next to like the hinge of the door, like in between there, next to the hinge. And Andy didn't realize, so he came in and closed the door on my fingers. And I screamed a lot. Um, and then we went to the hospital 
and they took many x-rays and two different doctors, both the x-ray tech and the actual doctor, said almost the same thing. They said, your pinky might be fractured. We can't tell, right? Like that's what he said. <laughs> and they showed me the x-ray and they were like, see this little line? Maybe that's a fracture, <laughs> who knows? So because, well, the, my two fingers definitely have temporary nerve damage, but I, I knew the moment it happened, they weren't broken. But because my pinky might have a very tiny fracture, my whole forearm and two of my fingers are casted. My dad just got offered a really great new job so I think since I was pushing all of my positive energy and luck and spirit out in his direction, the universe was like, fine, we'll give your dad all of your good luck, but you're gonna maybe fracture your pinky. What a funny first night in our new apartment, needing to go to the emergency room for the first time, because I've never, I've never broken or injured anything. The most serious thing I've ever had are my wisdom teeth removed. So yeah, it's Sunday. Um, I haven't been able to help much because I'm extremely right-handed. Like I basically have no fine motor skills in the left side of my body. Our furniture from Ikea will be here in like an hour and I'm feeling motivated now to like, because I was able to successfully wash my face and do skincare and put my hair up with only my left hand, um, I feel motivated to do things now. So I'm gonna be helping what with what I can and he's gonna have to do most of the assembly of the furniture, but I'm gonna help where I can Right Don't laugh at me. <laughs> yeah, so you guys will see what the rest of our Sunday looks like just of course Disaster had to strike because this is my life, but at least I can still throw up a peace sign All right, that's it for now. You guys will see the rest of the day peace All right That looks so good though! Okay, let's finish. Yay! Yay. <laughs> we did not pay for people to come assemble these things for us, so Andy bought his first drill, and he's never used one before. pressure test. <laughs> That's my girl. You can do it. I know how to do these things. You can do it. With your... With my left hand, which has almost no fine motor skills. <laughs> Would you say this is a fine or a gross motor skill? Probably actually a fine motor skill. Anyway, thank you for being able to understand the directions. Mm -hmm. this, this was much easier after you knew what was going on. It is Monday after work and now we are at Home Plus. If you guys don't know about Home Plus, it's amazing. You can get groceries and electronics and like handbags and skincare all in one place. We have a big list, but we're just gonna get little things now because um, Andy found out that we can order big stuff on the app and choose a time for it to be delivered to our apartment. So for now, we're just on the lookout for some little things like hooks and stuff like that. Maybe a plant if I'm lucky. And yeah, let's go. Mega chips. One plus one. <laughs> it's cute. Should we get one? <gasps> Andy. His little pose. Oh my god. That's so cute.
heading back home. I'm going to expose you. Are you ready? You always make me pick two out of the three flavors at Baskin Robbins. And you know I'm indecisive, and that's a really hard decision for me. And every time we're at Baskin Robbins, you say, I want this one, which is always the same one, love struck strawberry. And then I need the responsibility of picking two more. And then I like to be adventurous and pick new ice cream flavors, and then you always don't like them and don't eat them. So then I feel bad, and I have to eat the whole flavor by myself. I'm blocking people. Hello home. Hello. So this is technically, I guess, day three of our move-in efforts since we started Saturday and Sunday and it's now Monday. Um, our bathroom has like mystery dirt. It really looks like, I don't know what to call it, like water splashed on the wall and then like dust and dirt from the air just kind of dried to the wall. I don't know. It's just the bathroom looks literally dirty, like a semi-dirty dog came in here and shook all around. I don't know what it could have come from. But while Andy is building the trolley, I am going to be in here literally with some soap and water scrubbing the walls. There was so much dirt on the walls. It's unbelievable. They're gonna feel so fresh when I'm done. <laughs> Andy finished our trolley and it's perfect. And there's the oven I got. And there's his rice cooker and it's so perfect. And it's so cute and so useful. And Andy only messed up one bar, but I think it's so charming. And it just adds to how perfect it is. It's like Andy's little touch. Yay! Oh, it feels like a real home now, a real apartment. Hello everyone, pardon the mess you can see behind me. It is now Tuesday. And before I finish the moving video, I just wanted to show you guys a couple really special things. You saw a glimpse of this when we were unpacking our things from Ikea because we finally bought a frame. But this was my two year anniversary present to Andy and it is a map of what the night sky looked like above Seoul the day that we met. So it says, when our stars first aligned the night sky, Seoul, South Korea, April 28th, 2016, and the latitude and longitude points. It was a really thoughtful gift. I mean, I know I'm the one that got it, but we both really adore it, but there was just no room in his old apartment. So now that we've finally lived together, we are finally able to put up our star map of the day we met. The second thing I wanted to show you guys was this gift I gave Andy. This is a book I noticed at my school called The Best Nest, and Andy and I always refer to whichever apartment we're living in as The Nest. And I basically just super glued laminated pictures of Andy and I to all of the birds inside. But it's just a cute little story about these birds. They're a little couple and they want to find a new nest, a new place to live. So they go searching and searching and they find things and then those things aren't available and they find things and then there's something wrong. And Andy was reading it and he was like getting all sentimental. He was like, oh, it's our story. But yeah, so this goes up on our table of special things now. Just a cute little gift. It actually took me like two hours to super glue all those faces on. The interns at my work actually sat down and helped. Um, but yeah, so our special little tabletop here, best nest, and our star map. The next video, hopefully it won't get in the way. The next video is a surprise for you guys, but it's also a surprise for Andy. Um, it is a Valentine's Day surprise. He is going on a business trip, leaving Wednesday, getting back Sunday, so he's missing Valentine's Day, which I'm very upset about. But in Korea, if you didn't know, Valentine's Day is considered 
the day for the girl to reach out to the boy and confess feelings. And then in March, there's White Day, which is when boys reciprocate to the girls, or don't reciprocate, depending. So I am in charge of preparing something cute and special for Andy, and you guys will see. I'll be able to film it since he won't be with me Saturday, so I have all day to prepare. I'm actually super excited to do this for him. He does so much for me. He deserves something cute too. And I just want to leave you guys with saying our apartment isn't huge. It's just one really cozy bedroom, which you guys will see in another tour later, and a main room, which is still pretty messy, and a kitchen that's still very tiny, but it has two burners, which is all I wanted. So it's small, but it's really cozy, and it's going to be so comfortable, and we're already so happy to come home and be with each other and to have all of our things together in one place. We're so comfortable, we're so happy, we've been sleeping well, and this is just like, such like a little life moment, the beginning of the rest of our lives. So thank you guys for watching the moving video, I'm sure it wasn't too exhilarating, and if you watched all the way to the end, even more points for you. So I will see you guys next time, and again, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye bye!